I would say our main focus is really expanding on what we have now. You know, building a very solid staking basket ecosystem with various baskets, you know, expanding upon profiles, you know, building, you know, profiles that people can follow and a blockchain, you know, focused social platform and also expanding our educational portal. Uh, you know, we have 12 more videos already on the way. We have 24 now. So really, it's just kind of taking the foundation that we've spent the last two years building and expanding on it. And then we'll start working on some new ideas. What's up, Ada Nation? Welcome to Dev Central. Sitting to my right, I've got Big Pay here, fellow content creator in the Cardano community. Let's dive into Atrium. Pay, how are you? I'm doing good. It's so amazing to be able to do this podcast with you in person. I've wanted to do one with you for a while, and we just so happen to run into each other here. So it's awesome. Thanks for having me. You are welcome. Um, yeah, it's been creator fest here. A lot of people to talk to, you being one of them here. Um, let's talk about Atrium, though. And maybe before even that, you know, how are you enjoying this review so far? Uh, I'm loving the conference. You know, it's, it's really important for regular users or investors or even projects to come to these conferences. We all live in the online world. And, uh, you know, just having that in-person moment, even for a couple of days, it's, uh, you know, some of the some of the most valuable work I do in three months can happen in two days at these conferences. So I'm really enjoying it. What about yourself? I mean, I've said the same exact thing to so many other people. You know, this is content creator heaven here, you know, to be able to get access to Matt Plowman, people like yourself, Charles Hoskinson, Aaron Barak. There are a lot of people to talk to. And my thing is, is there just never seems to be enough time in the actual day to get it all done. So. Now that aside, Atrium, you guys have a booth here. Can you break down what Atrium is? I know you guys are on the test net and how people can be, can potentially get involved. Sure. So we're trying to make Cardano easy. We believe next year, millions of new users are gonna come into cryptocurrency and we'd like them to come to Cardano. So what we've built so far is an education portal with 24 motion graphic design videos that guide you through your Cardano experience. You know, what is a hardware wallet? What is staking? What is a DEX? You know, step by step. And these also live in the Atrium dashboard. In the Atrium dashboard, we've also integrated two different smart contracts. The first one is staking baskets. Staking baskets allow you to delegate to over 100 different stake pools at the same time and earn additional Cardano native tokens on top of your ADA rewards. You know, staking baskets is going to be an ecosystem of various baskets that you can deposit into to earn various rewards and, vari and support various stake pools. You know, the Atrium DAO is launching the first basket and it's called Diffusion. Diffusion actually delegates to 50 different single stake pool operators and rewards you with ADA plus Atrium DAO tokens for supporting 50 small businesses and Cardano's decentralization. And uh, the second smart contract is called uh, Atrium Profiles. Atrium Profiles allow you to mint these profile NFTs that you can actually level up right now on the test net. You can go to alpha.atrium.io, mint one of these profile NFTs, and what you can do is connect it to your Twitter and connect it to your Discord. So when you engage with Cardano projects, you'll actually get XP and unlock new things for the NFT, new backgrounds, new badges, new titles, and you know eventually these NFTs are going to be profile pages that live in Atrium that other people can follow. You know, you as a content creator can link your videos directly in there, and if someone follows you, they can get notifications, you know, for your latest videos. So we're trying to build blockchain-focused socials, you know, on Cardano, and right now it's actually an incentivized testnet. So you can, you know, the higher level that you get on the testnet, the more tokens will be airdropped into your wallet on mainnet. So it's the perfect time to get into Atrium. We're on the preview network. We have step-by-step -step guides you can view. I mean, that was quite a bit to break down there. Maybe we just start off with the staking and the smart contracts. Can you break down maybe a little bit of the security audit side of things? And are these actual smart contracts live right now on the test net? Or are you guys still waiting to sort of iron a couple of things out before they're launched? Sure. So they're actually live right now on the test net. Uh, we finished the audit about four months ago. The audit was done with Anastasia Labs, who's one of the smartest people I know on Cardano. And, um, you know, security wise, you know, the only thing that can be, you know, messed with in the smart contract is the staking keys, right? Who is the contract delegating to? Is it 100 pools? Is it 10? And that's actually going to be DAO governed. You know, so people are going to be able to vote, you know, for diffusion. They'll be able to vote on the 50 pools that are in that basket right away. And they're going to be voting in ADA. You know, once the Atrium DAO token is live, they'll be able to change the composition, you know, with Atrium DAO tokens. And one thing that's unique is on top of supporting all of these different stake pools, you know, you're also, you know, you have less worry about losing your ADA rewards. You know, if you're, uh, you know, your pool retires, you're going to lose those ADA rewards. Whereas if you have 50 different pools in there and one of them requires or, you know, retires, 
then, um, you know, it's, they can just be removed through a DAO token vote. So how does that work then as well? Could you maybe break down the process for how pools are added or removed from the diffusion baskets? Yeah, so what someone's going to have to do is come in and they're going to have to create a proposal. And they're going to write in the proposal why they think it should happen. You know, a good example is, you know, let's say there's 75 million ADA in the basket. And that's split across 50 different pools. You know, somebody, some guy could propose, you know, a, a new pool or five new pools are being added. And, you know, in, in the Y section, they could say, well, there's 75 million ADA now. You know, we think it'd be good to, you know, expand this even further. So you have to create a proposal. You have to get voted. And then if it's accepted, those pools will automatically be added in there. So... Maybe as a quick follow-up here, that's one portion. Um, are there ideas for other smart contracts or other sort of innovations to bring to Atrium? Um, I honestly have a lot of ideas. It really just depends on, you know, what, what do we focus on, you know, currently, be, just based on bandwidth. I would say our main focus is, is really expanding on what we have now. You know, building a very solid staking basket ecosystem with various baskets, and then, uh, you know, expanding upon profiles, you know, building you know, profiles that people can follow and a blockchain, you know, focused social platform and also expanding our educational portal. Uh, you know, we have 12 more videos already on the way. We have 24 now. So really, it's just kind of taking the foundation that we've spent the last two years building and expanding on it. And then we'll start working on some new ideas. Got it. So I'm sure you probably get this get this question um, a lot. But when mainnet? Three months. We don't have an exact date, but two years in the making, I think it's starting to be safe to say three months from now. From like that perspective, can you maybe break down like who's developing this? How has the team sort of come together? I mean, obviously you're at the helm, but can you maybe, you know, highlight who else has really made this come to fruition? Sure. So, um, you know, I had the idea for Atrium two years ago. It was uh, about three months before Rare Bloom in 2022. And I called up uh, the co-founder of Atrium. His name is Ben. And uh, he's a designer by trade. He can do animation and design. And I just told him, I'm like, you know, a kind of a very basic idea of what Atrium has become. I told him that. And uh, he just loved it. You know, we chatted about it for two hours straight. And then three days later, he designed the entire site. And he sent it all over to me. And when at that point, it was just an idea. I didn't know if I was going to do it. But him taking that extra step, because he loved the idea so much and designing it, it just it just started kind of the, the momentum, I think. And, um, you know, we did an NFT project in the past called Mycelial Gallery. And, uh, you know, we met a couple of developers, you know, in that time, you know, people that love Mycelial. And, um, you know, his name is Brian. He's our lead developer as well. We had another guy come on named Nick. And then shortly after that, we uh, started working with M Labs to write the first smart contract, the Staking Basket smart contract. And then throughout that time, you know, I would keep making YouTube videos. And, you know, someone would reach out to me and say, hey, I just want to let you know I love your videos. I'm a developer. And then I'd ask him, you know, what language? You know, and then that's kind of how our team grew. It, it was self-funded. It was organic. You know, we haven't taken any investment from tokens. And we were self-funded for over a year until we, uh, you know, you guys supported us in Catalyst. So, no, congrats on that. And you just mentioned tokens. Um, is there an Atrium token? So there is going to be a token and it's going to be the Atrium DAO token. And what you can do, you know, what the Atrium DAO token encompasses is it, it is both the smart contracts, right? So the staking basket smart contract, there can be protocol revenue that's going back to the DAO from that smart contract and, you know, governing the parameters of that smart contract, the updates, you know, if, a, if it, you know, V2 or V3 needs to come, that's going to be done through the DAO and also the profile NFT smart contract. You know, the, the revenue, uh, you know, from that contract is going to go back to the DAO to fund future development. And then, you know, you can also govern, you know, how much should a profile cost? You know, should this contract be updated? Uh, you know, what pools should be in the diffusion basket? So, yes, there will be a token. And, uh, you know, the easiest way to get some is just trying out the alpha right now. And maybe that's a good way to sort of segue out here. For anybody who wants to jump on the test net, how can they do that in order to get involved, to earn some of those tokens, and then also get those uh, upgradable NFTs? So we've actually written a step-by-step -step guide. The easiest way to find it is you go to atrium underscore lab on Twitter and go to the article section. And we've shown you how to create a testnet wallet. We've also shown you how to get onto the site. And uh, you also have to fill out a form, which will be linked in there. And then we also have a Discord with 6,000 people that will help you. And it's discord.gg forward slash atrium lab very helpful community there's a bunch of us in there so if you have any questions you know no no, no questions are stupid so if you guys want to jump in there check out the atrium testnet 
If you have any questions, as he's mentioned, they're more than happy to help you guys out. Um, any final closing thoughts that you want to share with the community? Um, I just want to say thank you, everybody, for the support over the years. I appreciate you doing this podcast. And, you know, these events, uh, they always remind me of, um, you know, how awesome this community is and uh, how valuable it will be in the long term. Because, uh, you know, some of the people I meet here are unlike, you know, people that I meet in my day to day. You know, they're they're motivated. And I, I derive a lot of inspiration from, you know, people like you and some of the other people I've met in the conference. So thanks for having the interview and thank you guys for tuning in back home. No, thank you. Um, the pleasure's ours. For anybody, again, who wants to find out more about Atrium, check out the links down below. Pay, congrats um, on the test net. Hopefully we can get that main net launch here out soon um, and look forward to definitely getting you back on the channel to discuss that as that happens. Awesome. Take care, everybody. Thank you, guys.